Developing news tonight, a frightening and dangerous tornado tears through Montebello today. That's right, an actual tornado, and it left a trail of destruction. Here's a look at the area it hit off of Washington Boulevard near Vail just after 11 this morning. KKL News reporter Nicole Comstock has been out there all day. She's live now with the very latest. Nicole. Well, thankfully, at least the rain has stopped by now, which is good because it means less damage currently happening inside of this business. This tornado just blasted through 17 commercial businesses here. And look at all this stuff it just threw outside boxes. This is the piece of one of the doors here. There was actually an employee inside at the time who tried to pull this metal door down to protect himself, but he couldn't get it down. So he ended up just hiding here in the corner where all these brooms and mops are. Meanwhile, outside, all of this stuff was getting thrown thrown around all of these wooden pallets here, pieces of metal, and you can imagine how dangerous this was at the time with pieces of wood with nails in it. Torrential rain pours into the ripped open roof at a seafood supply warehouse in Montebello. Yeah. This is the tail end of the tornado passing through after it peeled that roof back like a tin can and twisted it around between these white walls, battering them with black soot, leaving an absolute disaster zone of wreckage behind. This particular tornado spun up very quickly. The National Weather Service says while it is very rare for a tornado to form in this part of the LA basin, when strong Pacific storm systems bring them here, there's little to no warning. There's actually a, a subset of tornadoes that form too quickly to be detected and warned for, and this happened to be one of those. The city says 11 of 17 businesses damaged here had to be red tagged, and the power has been out all day. Oh my God, oh my God, oh no. A local high school student was blown to the ground, opening the door during the tornado. The door busts open because of the wind, and she's still holding on, and she falls over. After hunkering down inside and waiting for the storm to pass, those students were finally released from class. We tried our best to not make the, make the situation comedic, but it's hard. We're teenagers. But there's nothing funny about the fact that this tornado could have killed people. Yet miraculously, no one suffered serious injuries. Investigators walked through the debris field to learn more about what wind speed caused this kind of damage in the commercial business neighborhood off of Vail Avenue. They'll use what's known as the enhanced Fujita scale to determine a rating for this tornado. And this, this wall here is the height of a two or three story building. So you can just imagine how forceful this tornado must have been to move pieces of the roof all the way over there and leave marks that high up on the wall. It'll be very interesting to see what rating they give this tornado at the end of the day. For now, I'm reporting live in Montebello, Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. Thank you.